How's it going, everybody? Today we're gonna be playing some Attack Speed oh, Jean-Quay. And we're up against a King Arthur. What do you know? Um, yeah, so this should be an interesting game. One thing about King Arthur is King Arthur is very, very, very good at fighting. He is terrible at dueling. Let me explain that. That is because King Arthur has such a difficult time taking Demon King, taking Tower, taking Phoenix, and taking Titan. Like, I've been up against King Arthurs that had like seven kills and they end up losing because they can't actually take anything. Which, it's sad, but it's like Guardians to the extreme almost. But, the difference is that King Arthur can kick your butt in lane, big time. Like, you could die over and over and over again. So, if I die over and over again, we will not lose hope. Instead, we will stick it out and see what happens. Wait for me. Uh, I have lost to King Arthurs. I've beaten King Arthurs. I've played as King Arthur. He's just, he's just very different from the rest of the dual characters, you know? I, I think he placed a ward on red buff to prevent to know if I go for it and then he's gonna try to stop me from it Yeah, he's right behind this wall. I like saw his his little sword sticking out I mostly want the minis anyways Yeah, we're going mannequins because if you don't know jean Clay has an extra basic attack. It's part of his three and basically what that does stun him out of this is the extra auto attack can apply item effects such as mannequins but it can also apply things like demonic grip telekines and all that uh fully should be able to kill him here oh well <laughs> i i he might have actually gotten away if he just he did stop i, I don't know why he stopped i guess he thought he was dead um, but it was actually really close. But yeah, uh, going. So we're gonna go mannequins, demonic grip, telekines, all that, all the fun items. Um, the difference for the extra auto attack, the extra ghost, is that we're technically book of demons, but in this game it's a ghost. Um, the regular auto attack hits for half damage, but item effects it's applied fully. <clears throat> so it's pretty fun. I will say this just because a lot of people wonder how it works with poly. Uh, the the book can apply poly, but you don't get two poly shots. So if you throw an auto attack, whichever auto attack hits is the one that's going to apply poly. And I guess whichever one hits first. But yeah, you can't, you can't get two poly shots, unfortunately. like he's going defense i fully expect to see a ton of defense items just the way king arthur's played which is understandable however i'm getting huge poke on him he can't go too much defense because i do have physical damage with mannequins i feel to kill him here i got beat for his ultimate okay now he's off to a rough start now the one thing that's insanely good about king arthur which is his snowball potential he's losing that which is not good. Okay, okay. Look how much mannequin it does. It's not it's not okay. I don't even have to use abilities to clear the wave. I can just auto attack. Okay, can't go in because the tower's gonna target me. Oh, it's still gonna target me. <clears throat> Let's just go take some XP camps and stuff. Is this blue buff down? It is. We'll go take this then. I will rush Demonic Grip since he's rushing defense. If he wasn't rushing defense, I would rush Telekines. Or Hecate. Hecate. Hecate, Hecate. Oh, I forgot how to say it. I had to look it up. Hold on.
Hecate. 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 I forgot to open my bot again. Let's do oh, whoops. Let's do that. There we go. So he does have pestilence, which means I'm not gonna be healing too much. I'm not gonna be healing quite too much. I still do a ton tons of damage though. We save by three to stun him. I'm gonna all Use the beads. Done him out of that. Oh, damn. He still had that ability. I thought he had already used it. That's all right. Let's get that. Tier 2. Uh, Telekines. Yeah, I feel like beads is so good against King Arthur because you cut his ultimate damage by a huge amount. And then you can turn around on him. It didn't work out there, but that's okay. That's all good. Let's kill these minions. I'm pretty sure you got red buff. There's no reason he wouldn't have. Hmm. Look for the ones who are what else is he building? Maybe a crusher. A crusher would be kind of insane. Yeah. Or brawlers. Depends on what he wants to build. Ooh, he does damage. He actually does damage. He actually does big damage. Clear the wave in case I die. Ow. 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 <laughs> Yeah, no, he's, 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 he's getting there. He's getting the King Arthur stuff. Probably should have gotten defense before Telekines. Most likely. I do have Jean Quay Diamond, but I don't know, like, where I am on the leaderboard. I don't pay attention to leaderboards too much because they, the way they define who is top leaderboard, I don't always agree with i mean in a lot of situations it is the top players but sometimes it's people who win trade or somebody who had somebody who's really really good had one unlucky game and it makes them <laughs> fall down the leaderboard super big, big time whereas somebody else that is not better overall but they just had better matchups could be higher that has me for 185 Okay, he went Brawlers, not Crusher. That's actually... I think that's better for me for now because Crusher would actually be instantly killing me. I don't think my healing is an insane amount because I don't ha I don't even have Bancrofts. I do have my beads up here. All right, we got a recall because I got to get my items. And there's nothing up uh, except for XP camps to fight over. And I, I assume he already took them. Now. We're, we are going to build into a Breastplate of Valor. Second Relic, I should save. I might need a Sprint if he goes horrific. Um, I might want to Sprint anyways, to be honest, because upgraded Sprint is hilarious with Auto Attack Zhang. Uh, I also might need a Sunder in case he does go way too much defense and I can't eat through his defense. Uh, then Sunder would be the answer. Let's place a ward here. I should be able to take this before he gets over here. Look at all these yellow numbers. This is a yellow number build. If it really was, I, I would get this one now. Wow, even when he was pretty much guaranteed dead, uh, he's still really tanky. 
He did go Thorns, which I think is a great item on King Arthur when you go with defense build. Um, but that means I can go whatever Relic I want. I can go Sprint. I could go Horrific, which normally, normally you go Horrific when your opponent gets their second Relic and they don't have Sprint before you, right? Or whatever. But against King Arthur, it's not good because most of his abilities are sl he's slow at me enduring them. Like, like, I'd say half of his abilities. It doesn't even affect him. It doesn't affect his mobility. Like, by the time his abilities are over... By the time his abilities are over, he's already, uh... Gotten everything out of it. Oh, God. I kind of don't want to fight into Thorns, but I don't really have a choice. Alright, now we get our defense. Tier 2 breastplate of our... Oh, actually, Tier 3. Nice. Get some cooldowns with our auto-attack build. I think I will go away Sunder. I think that's good here. Because if he's going full defense, I he's probably going to get a Bulwark anyways, too. So even if, whether he gets a Bulwark or not, Sunder's going to be good. But it'll be even better if he does. A lot of times, if I'm ahead, I'll max the one on Shang. If I'm behind, I'll max the three. So now we're finally maxing the three. Oh, yeah, got his ultimate. Look how laggy that ability is, by the way. I do get him. How much is he mitigating? He's mitigating over half of my damage, even though I have demonic. Um, well, actually, that makes perfect sense. So I could use some additional damage. And since my damage is auto attack based, uh, Spear of the Mages might actually sound good because it would increase the damage of my Telekines, my Mannequins, my auto attacks, um, while providing me with some penetration life steal. And a huge amount of power. So, I, yeah, I'd say Spear of the Mages is perfect here. Or Spear of the Magus, excuse me. Spear of the Magus. Thunder and alt away. Slow him. There we go. Look at that damage. Dude, my mannequins is doing more damage than telekines. A starter item that costs 1500 gold is doing more damage than a tier 3 item. It's, a, it's because I don't have pa too much power yet, but that's insane. What's what's insane to me is mannequins actually scales based on your power as well. <laughs> what is it? It's 5% of your magical power, whereas Telekine's a tier 3 item is 15% of your magical power. It's like, interesting. But mannequins has way more base damage and the insane ability to take Demon King versus... Uh, telekines, which does not have that. Obviously, the telekines has good stats, though. Like the attack speed and power, but it's just it's just kind of funny. What's what's more what's more likely the case? I just like to complain. Let's 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 be real. It's just because mannequins do physical damage, and telekines is getting mitigated because he has magical defense. That's a real culprit. Blackthorn Hammer does give him some good stats overall. Could go Soul Reaver. I'm not a huge fan of Soul Reaver, but against this much health, it would be good. But the build is auto attack, not Soul Reaver, John. If I ulted there, I might have been able to kill. If I ulted early, he might have just ran, though, before. Chosen. 
Use our beads. Dude, I'm bad when I miss my autos when he's right next to me. <laughs> okay, let's get more attack speed. Oh, did I buy Divine Rune instead of Spirit of Magus? Whoops. Spirit of Magus. I bought the wrong item. My bad, guys. I probably did that. I mean, it's it's really it's as simple as a little misclick, but um, in almost in most dual matchups, uh, you want anti heal because almost every god has healing somewhere or another with life steal or something. Uh, King Arthur has none though, so yeah, that was a bad misclick. Sometimes I'll misclick an item and it'll be like, yeah, it could go either way. It's it's a good item, but there no spear. The spear is way better than divine right now. Mostly because he doesn't even have Chalice. If he had Chalice, then the it would be a, a little decent. So that did cost me some gold, but we're still really far ahead. It's all good. Shouldn't have gone for blue, because then I could have picked up red buff. He bought a power potion. He bought a power potion because he knows he needs to defend this. Makes sense to me. How much power do you have, buddy? Does Hydra's work on King Arthur? I thought it didn't. Maybe it, maybe it does. Could have sworn it doesn't, though. Yeah, out of range by three. That's game. GG's. I hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, it is really difficult for King Arthur. Like, uh, I've, I've played King Arthur myself a lot of times in duel, and you can get a ton of kills, and it's really hard to do anything with the kills. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. And uh, let me show the stats. I forgot to show the stats in the last video. Um, diamond 4. Here are the stats. Anyways, hope you guys have a good day. And I'll see you guys next time. Oh, he's gold five, dude. Yeah, matchmaking, man. You know, the weird part about matchmaking was when, during the picks and bans, he actually banned first, which should have meant he had higher MMR than me. <laughs> and I got 100 MMR. He's diamond confident. Oh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, bye, buddy.